Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today I have a reading for Taurus for the first half of September 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yes, this is for Cancer for the first half of September 2020. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. With that being said, these are the cards I'm using. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these cards have been pre-shuffled. I'm going to go ahead and get that one extra shuffle in just so I can get the general energy of this reading for Cancer for the first half of September 2020. General energy for Cancer is the Eight of Swords. So apparently you might be feeling trapped right now. Trapped in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. Yes, as you see, this woman, she's here, you know, she's loosely bound, not really tied up at all. Uh, if she removed that mask, she could just walk right past those, you know, swords. Look at that bird just chilling right up there because it can fly away at any time. So this is something that you're doing to yourself, Cancer. You're keeping yourself trapped in a situation and, and you feel like you can't escape it, but you can. This is something that's in the confines of your own mind. So let's go ahead and find out what's really going on. Let me get uh, let me get three cards for Cancer, please. There's one. Let me get uh, two more cards for Cancer, please. Two more cards for Cancer. Two more cards for Cancer, please. Two more. One more card for Cancer. There we go. All right. <clears throat> what is this one? All right. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we do have the High Priestess. Okay, and the High Priestess is a person who definitely has that sacred knowledge, very intuitive individual, right? Um, but it appears that you might not be in that energy right now. You're feeling trapped in something. Um, and, and I think what you're doing is you're trapping yourself, okay? There might be some issues with your own intuition. You might not, not be following it. Um Now you might be, you might be also, you know, of course you are because you're here, Cancer. So you might be checking into some, some tarot card readings to figure out what's going on. You might actually be doing tarot card readings yourself. You may be doing a lot of study involving esoteric knowledge, okay? And you're doing this because you are trapped in your mind about something that you do not see, all right? And you're figuring out that. Okay, maybe if I do the tarot, I'll be able to figure this out because I just can't figure this out myself because you have no sight here. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. All right, I do see this five of wands here, and this is about conflict. Now, this could also be mental conflict, but this could also be conflict with others. Okay, a lot of chit chat and, and conflict and gossip, and you know, I don't, I kind of don't feel like uh, it's it's good stuff. It's I don't think it's good at all. I think it's people trying to hold you down or keep you stuck or feeling that way because of their words, you know, from the gossip, right? Um, yeah, I also see here we have the Knight of Pentacles, and somebody may be wanting to come in to offer you a little something, a little gift of some sort. Um, maybe a, an offer of some sort of stability, right? We have the three of wands here. So somebody in your environment or yourself is waiting for this message to come in. Actually, what I'm feeling here is that you've been waiting for something and something's going to come into you or you will be offering something to somebody when the time is right. That's what it is. Okay, sorry, my bad, Cancer. This is what's going on. Okay, so you are in conflict with others, right? You're trying to figure out when is going to be the best time for you to come into an offer for somebody that you know is waiting for you, okay? But you can't get out of this because you have to discuss something with them, right? There's this discuss discussion that you're going to have to have with this individual that you want to bring this offer into because, you know, they know a little something about you. Maybe you did something in the past or something happened here, and you're trying to see when is a perfect time for you to bring in a, 
some sort of a gift, a token gift, something to, you know, ease the mood here. Because you know that somebody's in the background waiting for something, maybe waiting for an apology from you, waiting for you to do something, make some sort of offer here. Hmm. You may intuitively know that this person is waiting for this offer. You may have found out from tarot card readings. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. We have this Five of Wands here. Why is this Five of Wands here for Cancer, please? Why is this Five of Wands here for Cancer, please? Why is this Five of Wands here for Cancer? This is for the first half of September 2020. Ooh. Let's see what we have. Okay, these are all at the side. This is, I'll take this in the reverse. I'll take this in the upright, and I'll take this in the upright. Okay, so we do have the Ten of Cups in the upright, right? So this could have been something that you may have had a relationship with before in the past, or you're in a relationship right now. Um, there could be some conflict with you going on in this relationship. I do see here that somebody kind of got sick and tired of this relationship and may have left. Okay. Now this right here, this is the four of <clears throat> this is the four of swords. Now, if it's in the upright, it's indicating to me that somebody is t sick and tired of a situation. They're they're fed up. They don't want to deal with anything uh, to deal with this anymore. So something has happened here uh, between you and another individual, right? And um, it may have just come to the point where you're just like fed up. You're like you don't want to do this anymore. Now when this card is in the reverse, that means that um, there could be issues with. Um, there were issues with finances, right? Um, there was issues with not, um, shit, how can I see this? There was issues with not uh, being equal when it came to household duties, possibly, uh, when it comes to, like, economy, right? Okay, economy could be, like, somebody who is working all the time and the other person is is not, or, or maybe there's no equal give and take in the household in regards to chores, paying the bills, uh, responsibilities in the house, so, stuff like that, household responsibilities, right? So I'm feeling here that the past issue here was about household responsibilities. Uh, there wasn't an equal give and take. Somebody kind of got tired of that. It may have started out happy, but it didn't end up that way. Um, I also see here um, somebody may have been... Uh, focused on their money and and not trying to take care of the house or something like that you know something in those that category all right so let's find out why is this knight of pentacles here why is this knight of pentacles here please why is this knight of pentacles here please why is this knight of pentacles here please there we go Okay, so first of all, we have all we have the seven of, of cups, and this is telling me that there's a lot of options here in regards to this uh, giving of a gift. So an option could be uh, verbal communication, it could be offering stability, it could be um, <sighs> apologies. So there's a lot of options in regards to mending this situation because I feel that there's a broken situation here that somebody may be trying to mend, trying to make a peace offering, right? And they might be, you might be even making that peace offering uh, to a uh, an air sign. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands here. So you may be trying to offer something to the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands is a special individual, right? If you cross her, cancer she has no problem cutting you out of her life okay this is a very intelligent woman she uses strat strategy and she's always moving forward right this woman has a lot of life wisdom she's been through a lot and this is why she knows so much but she's always willing to give everybody a chance right you just got to come in the right way you don't come in the right way you do her wrong and she cuts you out forever it appears here uh, cancer that this is what you may have done. You may have caused some deception in this person's life and this is what has caused you to be nervous to offer this message to somebody. So you may have deceived a person in the past, uh, somebody that was supposedly your ten of cups, you deceived them. Um, there was more of a focus on money and, and self 
right? You, This person uh, was already balanced. You may have been in some sort of disharmony or disbalance, and uh, you were trying to gain that through this person, and all you did was break you apart, okay? Because you can't gain balance from anyone. You have to do that yourself. And it appears here that you were trying to hang on to another person in order to keep balance, but you did it in the completely wrong way. You or the other person, I don't know. But I do see here there was some deception that was done towards this queen of of sorts and uh, the option here is you figuring out how you're gonna make this better alright so somebody did something wrong to another person and now somebody is trying to bring in some sort of token gift to make amends like you know what I mean um, something like that now this could be you doing this or another person doing this to you okay why is this three of wands here why is this Three of Wands here for Cancer for the first half of September 2020? Why is this Three of Wands here for Cancer? Why is this Three of Wands here for Cancer? Why is this Three of Wands here for Cancer? One more card, please, for Cancer for that Three of Wands. Okay, we got one, two, three. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So there could be some, you know, you, you're probably doing good financially, Cancer. Um, I do see someone is feeling trapped still, though. You're still trapped in your head about somebody who was very intuitive, which could be yourself or the other person, who is also very abundant and balanced and stable. Let's see what we have here. We have the King of Pentacles, okay? So that could be you or the person that you're dealing with, this King of Pentacles. You're waiting for the right time to come in to speak to this King of Pentacles. Now, this can also be male or female energy, all right? If you don't know this, I'll tell you now. Uh, this could also be a female or a male. This could be a female or a male, okay? Uh, you swap the energies. It doesn't matter male or female. We both have male and female energy. Sometimes we're in the male energy and sometimes we're in the female energy and you can be either gender. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, this king of uh, pentacles here, somebody's bringing in a message or waiting for the right time to bring a message into this king of pentacles energy. And we have, uh, and the king of pentacles, you know, is somebody who is very giving nurturing, they share, but they're also somebody who's a very good businessman, could be an entrepreneur, somebody has their own business, somebody is the boss of a business, or something like that. All right, so now we have the Knight of Wands here, and the Knight of Wands is a kind of like a player energy, okay? This person uh, likes to get around, you know, swing their wand around, but this is in the reverse. So this person is not a player, but they're very passionate, and this could also indicate there's there could be a little bit of deception going on in regards to that. Somebody could be an accusatory type of person saying things, uh, oh, you're doing this or doing that. Or somebody could be argumentative, arguing, fighting a lot. Right. That's what it could be also. <clears throat> Now, there's a lot of conflict here when it comes to that Knight of Wands, right? And it could be conflict within the business, within the business, right? So if you are an entrepreneur or somebody who has their own business, there could be conflicts there at work. Now, we also have the Knight of Cups, um, yeah, the Knight of Cups here, and this is about love messages coming in. Now, if there's conflicts at work, uh, having problems at work, there could, it could be because there could be some... Um, fraternization at the job okay this is not something that's very good for uh, businesses not to have uh, employees fraternizing with one another definitely not a good idea all right this causes conflict within the work the work environment okay especially when you may have two employees that you like very well and they work very well and they do excellent and they might be fraternizing you know that's not the right thing to do because eventually either you lose both of them or you'll use lose one of them you know it's never good to have relations at your job okay I'm sorry I thought I heard something so let's go ahead and keep going here let's see if we can grab um, some cards uh, uh, from the universe some advice or whatever the universe thinks that it can be next coming out here <laughs> you know uh, what does the universe think about this whole situation okay what is going on in this situation? What does the universe have to say about all this? Okay, well, the first card that came out, Opportunity Beckons. Okay, that's good, right? 
some of you may be discussing amongst others what kind of opportunities can be had. So this seems like it might be a, a maybe a career uh, reading for you. Um, this offer may actually be an offer uh, in regards to business, okay, um, or, or love. I spoke too soon. Yeah, so somebody is wanting to make an offer to somebody about a situation that of the past, right? You could have been in a business with this person, Cancer. Could have been. You could have not been. I don't know. But you could have been involved in a business with this individual, and uh, this was a relationship. This could have actually been a relationship or, or business where uh, a man and woman start a business, right? And, and it does well. But then, then when they start doing better, employees start coming in. And then that's when the fraternization starts. And once that comes in, oh, then if you're a husband and wife or whatever, relations can end that way. So make sure you watch out with about the fraternization at work, okay? Crown chakra. Okay, also what I'm seeing here is um, you may have... Uh, you may be using your intuition in regards to this fraternization. You may have a feeling. You may you may not know. You may not have seen it, but you may have a feeling that this is going on behind your back. Um, I'm letting you know that it might actually be, and the universe is trying to send you messages and intuitive nudges to help you see this. So if you don't see it now, um, you're bound to see it in the future. So keep your eyes open for that, okay? Because it looks like there might be two lovers here. It's either that or you and your lover or spouse started a business together and employees are fraternizing. You want to try and keep that under control, okay? Use your intuition on that one. Because if this spirals out of control, you can lose this Ten of Pentacles energy, right? Stability. You could lose it if you have this going on. So I have a feeling that's what something might be here, okay? Something in regards to your your work environment. Yeah, okay? So let me see what else. I think that's all I have for you, uh, Cancer. Now this is for the first half of September uh, 2020. Um, if this resonated in any way for you, Cancer, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. We like that equal give and take around here. It's good for your karma points also. Um, another thing is um, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. Uh, we have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful, right? Yes, we sure do. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.